Part 13. How to kill, do harm to, or irritate a dog man. Considering how ferocious dog men appear, obviously one should take into account how to dispatch one in case one's life is in danger. Well, dog men, like wild boars, appear to have a layer of gristle covered in thick muscle which makes it extremely difficult to kill one with a low-powered gun. That being said, in Dogman Encounters episode 85, it was stated that there is a six-inch area where they are weak between the front chest plate and its back. In that episode, we were also instructed to aim for the belly button so that the bullet shatters its backbone, paralyzing it or even an old-fashioned spear through the heart might work. However, I am left with the question, what caliber and type of gun should be used to stop it in its track? Well, several examples come to mind. A 300 Winchester mag rifle might work. A 338 Lapua Blue Line with military grade armor piercing rounds. Or a 416 Rigby, the big game gun. A 4570 Bear or Elephant Gun. A 50 Cal Barrett Sniper Rifle. A 6 Improved from 400 yards. A 7mm Mag Rifle to the face and an AR-15 from 100 yards. As far as rounds, either armor piercing, as in the 338 Lapua, or incendiary rounds or silver bullets might work, especially since silver appears to deter diabolically intentioned beings and radiates at a frequency which disrupts a spirit's ability to maintain possession of a human body. Other than that, guns appear to have little effect on them, at least in the short run. Guns like 30-odd sixes, 40 cal handguns, and AK-47s just tickle it. As far as irritants for Dogman, Air horns might work, as well as alarm sounds, barriers of salt, blue paint, which is paint blue, bright lights, electronic devices sensitive to frequencies, hog whistles, maybe iron, which has a witch connotation, possibly pepper spray, sound horns, and finally, Mythologically, wolfbane. As far as foods toxic to dogs, like chocolate and coffee, or allium plants like onions or garlic, and finally grapes and raisins, etc., are probably not going to work, as it generally refuses to take food from man.